Hi, welcome to Edge. My name is Ranjana Jain and today I'm going to be talking about the file classification infrastructure in Windows Server 2008 R2. I'm reminded of the numerous customer meetings with our defense customers where we had to suggest some third-party software for data and file classification. Classification has been a consistent requirement in their file storage and communication systems. Not only is it followed religiously and diligently with respect to the physical data files, it is made sure that any kind of data file stored on the file server must be classified as secret, top secret or classified etc. CIOs today are facing an increasing regulatory compliance challenge and concerns about data leakage. The IT administrators are facing the challenge of managing larger and more complex storage infrastructures. Tagging data files and project files in many scenarios comes quite handy. Not only does it specify the level of access to the file, it can even be used to specify the ways the data needs to be dealt with and the way it will be disposed of. It makes it really simple for administrators to handle content in the data files as information rather than just a bulk of storage. The Windows Server 2008 R2 file classification infrastructure or FCI as we call it automates classification processes so that you can manage your data more effectively. You can save money and reduce risk by storing and retaining files based on their business value or impact. The built-in solution for file classification provides expiration, custom tasks, reporting. The file classification feature in Windows Server 2008 R2 provides a fantastic and much sought after mechanism to automatically assign classification information to files on file servers and apply the policies to them based on their information. FCA's out-of-the-box functionality includes the ability to define classification properties, automatically classify files based on the location and content. You can even apply file management tasks such as the file expiration and custom commands based on the classification as well as produce reports. Now classification can be done in different ways using FCI. It can be done in an automatic fashion which we call as automatic classification where FCI can classify files according to the folders in which the files are located or based on the contents of the file. It could be manual classification such that an end user can manually classify the file uh, using the file properties interface which is built into the office system files and FCI will recognize these properties automatically. You can also use the APIs for LOB applications and IT scripts that can set classification properties to files. You can make use of the different data management functionalities built into the FCI without requiring any additional third-party application. You can use features like file expiration that can reduce both the cost of storage and management and the risk of information leakage of file servers. The FCI solution provides automatically scheduled tasks that expire the files based on age, location or other classification categories. For example, IT administrators can automatically move data based on policies for either centralizing the location of the sensitive data or for moving the data to a less expensive storage facility. You can use the reporting features in FCI which can provide administrators with a powerful tool. It can be used to assess the risk of files being in the wrong place on their servers. Administrators can create reports in a variety of formats that can contain details including the location etc. about files that have a particular classification. The reporting infrastructure can also be used to generate uh, information that can be used by another application. You can make use of the file management tasks in FCI to create and update file expiration tasks which move all the files that match a set of criteria to a specified directory where an administrator can then uh, back up that data or delete the files. Files can be set to expire based on the classification values or after a number of specified days uh, since the file was last created, modified or last accessed. Email notifications can also be used to send a warning to the event log or run a command or script at a specified number of days before the file management task is scheduled to run. And the most important thing is, this feature is available in all editions of Windows Server 2008 R2 by default.